All right, ladies, we have another special guest. Most of engineering is, hmm, I wonder if. I wonder if we can make this building look like a sailboat. I wonder. It's a great aspect that I want you to try today when you're going to do your activity. When you're designing, you want to lead through and say, well, how creative can I get? And see if it works. And it's okay if it doesn't. That's the best part about the design process. If it's not okay, let's think about it. Hmm, why did that happen? Your challenge for today is you are going to be structural engineers and you are going to design a building. But there's kind of an issue. When we begin with the girls, we set up a problem. We give them a design challenge and they have to identify the problem and brainstorm different solutions for the problem and then choose a solution. This is our shake table. It simulates or pretend, help you pretend that there's an earthquake. In our activity, we're going to have two different types of soil. Erica's got the oobleck, which is considered the landfill. So something to think, if you have a building assigned to landfill, when that earth starts moving, your building's gonna go, doo. <laughs> no, that's, that's not so good, that's a no-no. And the other type of soil we have is gravel. First you're gonna brainstorm, then you're gonna build and design it, and then we're gonna test it. Well, first we need to design what you want it to look like. So think about what do you want it to look like? And you wanna work as team. Very important to work as team members. The foundation, I think, is like the most important part. So, um, are we going to do X's too on this one? Uh, maybe we'll just do like this. But then, how about let's take a layer so the uh, black might not slip through? Yeah! And how long are we going to keep this? I don't know, let's just put it down like this part. Down like this part. Glad, as long as I'm not in it. Hey, but where does this guy go? During the brainstorming, the girls have to think about what different parameters they have, what su supplies and materials they're given, and look at what challenges they need to overcome to accomplish the task. The girls collaborate during this time and come up with some sort of basic plan. We need to make it so close to each other. <laughs> okay, now you say the let's yeah, sure. And yeah. we're gonna do like that. It's I'll almost though. It's almost ready. You're okay. almost ready. We're gonna put this on in there for now. Like that. <laughs> okay, so. I want to give you a chance to test out your materials to see what it would be like for your structure to be on in an earthquake on that material. But a lot of us are not finished building. That's okay. You can take what you have so far and test it and see what you need to add to it to make it better. Go ahead. Interesting. I like this. Very clever. Yes. It's gonna sing. It's an awesome design. I really like how different it's it is. It's gonna sing. The bigger issue is always Mother Nature. So this might look great on your desk as it stands still, but we need to test it. We need to see how it will withstand the forces. What do you think that you would like to do differently? What do you What do you think? Lighter. 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 Even though the girls were a little hesitant, when they actually saw it in motion, you could see they got excited. And I love that they didn't get disappointed. That's a great sign of innovation, just to keep trying and changing and modifying. So what do you think would help to make it float better? Um, make it lighter or make it both sides even, like the same weight on both sides. What if we can't stick our golf ball anywhere? If you put more popsicle sticks for a floor, where are your little half sticks you had? You could make a little floor for him. What were some of the challenges that you faced as a structural engineer? Sometimes when you build something, we're probably going to run out of materials, like it probably won't work, and then you'll need to try to rethink and try to build it again. And sometimes you have to build a few times to, to get it work. Absolutely, and I'm sure that that happens um, in the real world, and it's, it's sometimes tough to think of it a different way when you, you wanted to build it a certain way, right? What are some other, Ariel? Um, like uh, for the landfill, for the ooplik, um, you had to make sure it doesn't sink 
Because the person inside the building might die in the ooplet. So you are thinking about real issues, right? The engineering process is really a life process. So at this early age, when they have the freedom to think without limitation and experiment and try, they understand that it's, it's okay to think outside and not feel like they're going to be wrong. This is a busy street. Oh this is a crowded street with so many houses. Touch ours. Three, two, one. All right. Oh. <laughs> okay, who's this? Awesome job, ladies.